हेलो गाइस वंस अगेन उमे भौर विद द सेम गन आई वाज डिस्कसिंग विद यू नाउ वी मूव अहेड दैट व्हाट मोर थिंग्स वी हैड टू डू व्हेन आई इंस्पेक्टेड दिस गन दिस पार्ट वेयर द करोनी वाज अटैच आई मीन आई कुडंट शो यू बेसिकली व्हाट इज हैपनिंग दिस गन इज शोइंग एफपीएस ऑफ ईच शॉट हियर ऑन द डिजिटल डिस्प्ले राइट द मींस ऑफ ओपनिंग हियर यू कैन सी दीस आर थ्री कनेक्टर्स राइट द फॉर द करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट and what happens the uh, this part goes here into the barrel like this right and here comes the electronic crony of uh, day state and one sensor here one here and one sensor here and one here right and when the pellet goes through these sensors so these sensors read the time Uh, in which the pellet is passed and calculated back that and there is a wire from here that wire comes to all the way here and is connected through these connectors right and this reading comes to its brain and its cpu that converts it to uh, into fps and shows every shot here right so one more thing that i uh, later uh, found that this uh, part where the karoni of the gun was installed uh, in fact it was all dull in this this part this was not the original this is not the original part of day state basically day state's part did just had these uh, these holes right so these holes for uh, pushing the air uh, to backward of the shroud these were too small right for the high power gun so what i did i cut some part of this black darlin part and i made this aluminum uh, you can say it um, uh, this is called uh, uh uh i am missing the word uh, anyhow you can see that it has this part has bigger slots bigger holes for here uh, to be released so uh, through this i i was thinking that it will help as um, uh, there will not be a lot of air crossing that electronic crony most of the air will bounce back towards the back side of the shroud but uh, even this did not fix the issue right so all these are efforts went to the bin which bin you may, you may understand which bin the efforts went right then what we had to do in fact uh, a bad gun no one will buy a bad gun right so now my friend could not sell it in this condition so finally what we uh, found i i was under the impression that ultimate the, the final issue is with the barrel so initially what i did i removed the barrel from my fx impact m3 and uh, you know that the dia of impact barrel is 14 mm while the dia of this barrel is 15 mm so i put a, i mean uh, there was a i show you if that is here yes i i installed this is a bushing darling bushing right so when this was inserted this were put uh, over the fx original barrel that is 14 mm so this one is 15 mm the barrel uh, went into this hole and this is becomes 15 mm and we could install the original fx barrel into this gun so without spending further funds first of all i used my own fx barrel and got it confirmed that if i install the fx barrel things are sorted out when once the things got sorted out and we concluded that with all this arrangement and the effect barrel things are now well fine and gun is shooting fine then what we did we arrange a liner this is fx uh, 25 superior liner this is 700 mm liner while this original barrel was 600 mm right so we have better efficiency with this and in this you can see that we have installed the original plug the original uh, crony has been installed here uh i see if if i can open it so we were talking about the barrels that what we did and uh, i have now brought before you the crony and the whole system you can see here are these three pins and when the barrel is installed with this these pins are attached to here and these are those sensors that i was talking about which read this the initial version this this was made of darlin and later you can see that yeah, this is the later version that we bought from the uh, day state and in this version they they have uh, built they have uh, made big, bigger holes for air 
yeah this, this is just like i had made these bigger holes like right? so approximately the same uh, volume of air is now uh, goes backwards to the uh, shaft right so what finally we did after installing my barrel air we found this uh, stainless steel pipe this is the outer dia is 15 mm as its original barrel is 15 mm right and uh, this is the style of uh, you can say the impact style uh, this transfer port and this and this retaining nut right inside there is 700 mm uh, liner and now what we do we just remove this barrel this barrel has been removed and this barrel is installed right so you can see it is inst installed right where it should be it comes to the that point right so that uh, for that purpose i have uh, here put this edge this edge is exactly at the same distance where the original barrel edge is there right so this is the edge that dictates that how inside the block the barrel is insert right so this is whole thing now i have just detached this crony because this is you, you can see there are wires and things like that uh, a bit of uh, mishandling can uh, disturb the things so now after all this after installing the, uh, this barrel and this shroud and this crony and everything now i have tested that this gun and yes i have also installed the um, the upgraded valve uh, in this delta valve they use balanced valve that is very efficient and uh, without that valve the uh, the performance of gun that was at around 165 bar red pressure now the similar performance is being achieved at around 130 to 135 bar uh, red pressure so that is a very much boost due to the uh, new valve design so that valve has also been installed into it and now with all this and this fx barrel but i am achieving i am achieving uh, i can say that if there is no wind uh 34 grain gsb exact 34 34 grain 0.25 gsb mk2 pellets those are uh, in one inch if there is no wind right and if uh, shooting from the bench rest and similarly this is the 0.22 barrel and i have tested this barrel uh, this is also superior barrel uh, superior liner and i have tested it with redesigned 0.22 redesigned 25 grain pellets right so at around 980 fps Uh, at 90 yards i easily achieved a uh, 10 shot group that was not more than 3 quarter of an inch so ultimately all the things all the issues of the gun have been resolved but the bitter thing is that after spending such a huge money i mean uh, one wants to get a out of the box such a such a such a gun that should shoot perfectly out of the box and should work exactly as advertised but this gun you can see this is here in our local currency i mean it's uh, more than 10000 our lo local currency uh, uh, 10 1 million more than 1 million in our local currency and i think it's uh, in us it's uh, 4000 dollar or around that so this this all this is hell of a thing and it, during all this its regulator also got leaked they use huma regulator uh, but her, that i fixed that issue and uh, now it's i mean since it's an uh, electronic gun electronic trigger is fantastic the lock time the hammer it is through the electronic system so the lock time is fantastic and the pellet exits uh, exits the muzzle so quickly that it is very easy to shoot accurately right so this is all but i wanted to share with you that what all i have to do uh, to make this Uh, to become a perfect shooter so i can i mean uh, i'm not a uh, competition shooter but i'm sure that this gun is capable of competing in any any competition right thank you guys please do subscribe my channel so that i could bring such thing to you